real name is still Paul and Alien. Oh. This is where they hit you for the lesson. As far as I know, this is where nurses live. So. This here. It does connect through to that room there. This is kind of odd because I think this used to be two more rooms. In the original floor plans, I think there was a wall here. Mm. Yeah. So you've got a door there that's not used anymore. Yeah. But then again, this balcony is relatively recent. <laughs> better than the Auckland city view. I mean we've got our cityscape but it's a bit dull but it's you've got so much history you can look around and see the roofs of the, the roofs of all the old buildings. It's a lot of it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. Very eclectic and it's just yeah. Then a steel floor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even need to aim. And the window going through, this yes. is the surgery room. Yeah, that's where
the Shelley, Shelley Backpackers in Dunedin. Time now is 10.30. I'd like to speak to anybody in this room or in this building that can hear me. Anybody that would like to have a chat with me. I've come all the way from Auckland. And I'd love to speak to anybody in this room that can hear me. Is there anybody in this room that can hear me? Can hear me perhaps you're able to reply are you able to maybe speak into one of these devices I have devices around me some of them are able to record voices some of them will actually trigger and um, will flash have they will flash their lights or beep make a sound if you touch them Are you able to give me some sort of sign that you're here? That you can hear me? My name's Mark, by the way. My name's Mark and I've come all the way from Auckland. Are you able to tell me your name? It's movement. It sounds of like movement above. We're on the ground level. First floor, that's a three floor building. And then somebody is walking above. A little bit of wind outside, it's um, not totally dead quiet out there. Not a lot of traffic noise, which is good. Okay, the window behind me is, it's vibrating. It's obviously a bit loose and the wind outside is blowing it backwards and forwards. So it sounds like a tapping, tapping, tapping sound. It's here, I'll see if I can push it. There. Okay, so the windows rattle. Come and sit and talk with me. Let's have a chat. Are you able to tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm going to move along now to another room. So um, now's your chance if you've got something that you'd like to say. Um, I don't mean any harm or disrespect. I'm just here to chat, sit and talk. I'm happy to do that if you are. So 
Is somebody getting into the car? It's a very noisy building, a very noisy area. Spend a lot of time just sitting in the dark, talking like I am now. Just talking to the air and hoping that somebody like yourself would uh, respond and reply. And maybe have a chat with me. I'd love to have a conversation. I know a lot of these old buildings have, you know, people like yourself living in them. Still living in them. They haven't left, they're still living in their homes. And I guess they possibly think it's a bit strange that all these strangers are coming into their house and invading their privacy. Is that how you feel about this place? Do you mind all these people coming in and staying here? It's now backpackers, it's for tourists to come and stay. Travellers. If, they if they're looking for a place to stay, they can stay here. So there are lots of beds and bunks and things and uh, rooms set up for people to stay the night. Do you see those that stay in these rooms? Are you able to see them? backpackers. Well, I'm assuming it's backpackers. I know it used to be a, a hospital and now it's backpackers for tourists to come and stay. It's a beautiful old building. Absolutely beautiful. You're very lucky. What do you reckon? You and me? Let's have a chat. But I would really like to hear about your time when it was a hospital, if that's when you lived here, or that's when you had something to do with the place. Wow. Clumsy, clumsy backpackers. I don't know how anybody can get any sleep around here. If you're able to, please come out and say hello. I love chatting with people like yourself. Um, I spend a lot of time doing this kind of thing, sitting in dark rooms, chatting to whoever would like to come forward and, and chat with me. I would really like it anybody in this room or anybody in this building that can hear me right now to come along and have a chat with me let's just sit down and have a conversation i would love to find out a little bit of information about you find out about who you are and what you do and um what your connection is with this place I'm told that um, there, there's quite a bit of activity here in the various rooms. Um, I'm not sure what I can do tonight, but I'm just going to go into the rooms that um, I have got access to and set up a few gadgets and try talking to whoever might be there and uh, see what happens. And um, 
oftentimes nothing will happen, but you've got to try these things. You've got to, if you don't go and have a look, you're never going to find out, are you? So um, that's why I'm here. Is it somebody in this room with me right now? Not a lot of traffic noise, which is good. We all resident of this house. Okay, I'm in room seven. Room seven is one of the rooms that I'm told has had a little activity from time to time. So I'm just gonna put my equipment down and set up a few things in this room for a little bit and do a, a short session here, spend some time in here. Pretty standard room, really. There's a radiator there at the back. They often make noises. Not sure if it's connected up, I suppose it is. There's an oil heater there as well. And a vent. Okay, I have to set up some equipment now. Right, this is a much bigger room than the last one. Okay. We're in room seven on the second floor. This is one of the rooms I was told has had a little activity in the past. If there is anybody in here that would like to speak with me, now's your chance. I've come all the way from Auckland. My name is Mark. And I've flown all the way from Auckland with my wife. So I'm here to chat with you. I've come here to talk with you. I don't mean any harm or disrespect. Um, whatever you'd like to talk about, let's talk about it. Were you aware that... The building has now changed its function and it's no longer a hospital. It is now a place for travellers to stay. They can come and stay a night or two when they're travelling around the country. Which is actually what I'm doing. I'm travelling around the country at the moment, staying in places like this. So where are you from? Are you from Dunedin? Were you born and bred in Dunedin? Is this your hometown? Is this where you're from? Yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, if you're able to do these things. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to communicate with me. But whatever you're able to do, wherever you are, if you could just try your best to interact with me, 
Um, I don't mean any harm or disrespect. I'm completely here just to listen and talk. I've just put a little box on the floor here. If you're able to touch it, it might trigger off a light. It won't hurt you, it won't hurt you at all. It just if you touch it, it might trigger a light and it will give me a sign that you're here. Can you tell me your name? Tell you what, touch these little boxes, these little boxes with the lights on them. If you could just touch them, that'll be an indicator. That'll, that'll tell me that you're here. That's all I need. Just touch these, touch these boxes. If you could touch them both or touch one of them, the numbers will change. Can you do that for me, please? Okay, we're getting a little fluctuation. Point nine milligauss. Okay, so one milligauss. Interesting. One point two. One point four. Oh, okay. We're getting some. Um, Interesting readings here on the millimeter. It's going, it's increasing. 1.4. So these gadgets on the floor here, if you're able to touch them, you may notice the numbers will change. That's you doing that. Just touch the boxes on the floor here. Touch the boxes on the floor and you'll uh, make the numbers change and it's an indication that you're here. It lets us know that you're here. They won't hurt you. So the one in front of me just here, can you um, touch that one please? Can you touch it? The red one? dropping in the EMF. Okay, EMF's dropping now. 0.9. Oh, interesting. I mean, there could be underground wiring. That could be fluctuating due to the amount of power surging through it as people use Appliances and things, perhaps, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, it's going up. Excellent, you're doing well. Let's see if you can go to point 10. Let's see if you, let's see if you can make it up to 10. Is it 6, 7? Oh, it's going down now. Yes, yeah, so I could put that down to um, underground wiring for now and appliances being used and things like that. We aren't 100% sure. But, uh, yeah. It's worth noting. What the heck is that?
ticking of the clock behind me. Quite a rhythmic ticking sound. Do you have a favourite story or a favourite book? I like reading horror stories. What about you? able to make a tapping sound if you can hear me just tap on a wall or something or there's a lot of wood here perhaps you could tap on something happening outside the library, the hallway. Some bathrooms out there. There's no door. <laughs> 